Hey guys, just got something in the mail from China. Oops. <laughs> well, it's a good thing it's not breakable. It's a package from PCBWay, which is the sponsor of this video. Whether you just need one PCB or thousands of PCBs, PCBWay can handle it. They offer every PCB type you could imagine, including flexible PCBs. PCBWay is currently offering 10 free PCBs on your first order. So check them out next time you need a PCB. And now let's see what they sent me. Oh, they gave me a pen. Thanks, PCBWay. Some stickers. And this is what I've been waiting for. Check this out. It's bigger than I expected because I did a, a laser cut version of this. Where did I put that? It's a laser cut version of this and it seems smaller. No, nope, same size. But wow, I think they did a pretty good job. I guess the key is whether it's going to fit the LED now. Okay, let's try this. It'll be a miracle if it works first time. So the thing that makes this unique is the fact that I'm putting the LED not on the surface like normally it would, but on the edge of the PCB. Hopefully it fits. Oh, it's too small. Just a tad too small. I mean, it kind of want to get in there, but it's not quite going in there <laughs> let's see try the other holes maybe I don't I think they, they would be pretty consistent that they're gonna be too small too yeah it's just a tad bit too small probably like I don't know 0.1 or 0.2 millimeter too small so I guess I'm gonna have to file it or sand it or something so let's try filing it I'm just gonna file it this way probably. Let's try to see if that's enough. I need the camera to be on my head so it won't be in the way. Boy, that didn't make, didn't make any difference at all. I'm moving left and right, I'm moving that way, and then I move this way, so they're even, evenly made larger. It better be enough, I mean, it didn't look like there's that much that needs to be taken out, but it's just not coming in still. There it goes. Oh, it's still not all the way in. Yeah, I could force it. Yeah, I wonder how the centering also would work out. But I bet you it's like there's such a small distance between the pads and the PCB. There's only very small. So even if it wiggles back and forth this way, I don't think we'll be able to see it with the human eye. Okay, well, it's quite a bit. I need to measure that, see how it is now. And and you know, make the difference and it fixes the PCB. But that should work. I'm gonna file some more. I guess I better pay attention to the orientation, make sure it's pointing the right way, I guess. So which way is way? The thing with the labels that they put in there is top. This is the bottom. And I believe, oh yeah, that's backward. Because that triangle, that spin three needs to be on the bottom left. So I did that one wrong. Yeah, that's off center, but you could hardly tell because there's just that, not that much space. So this bottom left, so if I turn it upside down, the triangle should be on the right side. So like that. Okay, 
No, I got two of them. It would be cool if this doesn't require soldering. You just wedge it in there, but it can't because it's not far enough. Unless I use a thick PCB, but they are a lot more expensive. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm just using a giant tip because I don't know if it really matters. Um, I'm trying to heat up the whole thing as fast as I can and then put some solder to jump the gap there. Okay, that's one. Two. Yeah, that works pretty good. Maybe a finer tip would be better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not bad, right? Let's see this, see that. Maybe I'll go from this side to do the other side. The other one, because I'm right-handed. So I want to hit it from this side. Yeah, that works good. So heat up. Heat up the pad. Just jam some... <laughs> solder in there that works pretty good yeah that works good yeah but it is key that the uh, LEDs stays while you try to solder them imagine if you have to hold the LED in place while you're trying to do this the fact that the LED stays where they are is really helpful. Yeah, that's really easy. Just heat up the pads. And then to do the other side, I have to go this way because my iron is on the right side. But you can go in between the LEDs, no problem. Yep, that went pretty good. Just heat it up, jam some solder and I think that did it you can see that solder pretty good in just a few seconds maybe a minute not bad well it's only a few of the LEDs in there <laughs> but I think it's gonna turn out well thanks for watching this far guys there's so much more about this project that I'd like to tell you about how I designed this PCB, the challenges that I had to overcome, and what's the final goal of this project. But I can't tell you everything because more content means more editing, and editing takes so much time. Um, if there's enough interest, I could start live streaming or maybe uploading unedited videos, spend less time editing and more time making the project. If you're interested in consuming unedited content, Please let me know which platform you prefer. Uh, maybe it'll be a second YouTube channel. So this one will always be, you know, more concise, more focused. Maybe I should put it on Facebook. There's a Harry Fun Facebook page that I don't really update that much because, yes, that means more content. So, uh, but maybe I could put that one to be less edited content than this YouTube channel. Or maybe I should uh, do short videos on Instagram or other things. So... Let me know what does everybody use these days. At any rate, the first thing I will be working on will be fixing this gap on the PCB so I won't have to uh, file every single one of these gaps. And then uh, I need to work on the disks, these two disks, so we can put everything into a ball. So thanks again for watching. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. I'll talk to you guys in part two.